You I'll have not had the booze? I'm not really. I mean, I, they creep in every now and again, but it's usually like I just need to sleep. I had the, yeah, it's, it's usually, well, obviously for me, it's alcohol. Yeah, I got that'll the blues. get you. I got the blues after that Notre Dame loss. Yeah, that's. Sunday, I had the blues real bad. Yeah, that's, there's like a reason for it. Like if that's the yeah. whole thing with depression, if there's no reason, then they diagnose you. That's like a loved one dying. They say, well, we'll give you six months if you're still depressed, or if you're, then, then we'll give you the clinical diagnosis. Do you know that? No, that's if you, have, if you have like a spouse die, they give you like six months to get over it. If you don't get over it, like a certain get amount of time, it, dude. they're like, now you're de- clinically depressed. Is that kind of weird? I don't know. I guess I have the blues pretty often. You get the blues? Yeah. I'm Sorry. a sad little fucking bitch all the time. Dude, I, I don't get it. I just get confused now. I'm in the period where I just like sit in a room and I go like, I don't know what I'm feeling right now. I am right so now. much dumber than I used to be. <laughs> really? I feel like I'm way dumber. How? I don't know. I think I got dumber. I can't remember anything, but... Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, my God. I can't remember. Dude, I used to crush Jeopardy. I put on Jeopardy now. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> like, who lost to Ohio State this week? I'm like... I, yeah. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, fuck. I was there. <laughs> dude, I was I was trying to... I was talking about Providence, Rhode Island. I was like, yeah. I was talking about Blizz. I'm like, yeah, Blizz is coming with me to come. I was like, and I, I, he was with me in a... <laughs> oh, dude. Not Boston. <sighs> Providence. I was like, sweet, there it is. Yeah. I pa- I start to panic too, which doesn't help. I'm like, you have Alzheimer's. You're fucked. You can't remember shit. Shut up. Yeah, I don't. I that's Providence. What, when you do the road a lot, you're like, I have no idea where I was or who was with me. Yes. Every single week. <laughs> it's bad. For like you. I'll be talking to O'Connor. I'll be like, dude, I was in Florida. It was fucking sick. He was like, I was with you. Yeah. That was two weeks ago. <laughs> like, whoa. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to move your brain around that much, dude. dude just nonstop traveling. It fries it. Doing the same material. <laughs> doing this, having the exact same yeah, night. Yeah, true. Every weekend. That's lit, though. When you get that new tag and you go, yes. Got it. New yes. tag, not a big deal. 15 seconds acquired. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'll be gloating off that. I had like two new things and I was gloating all weekend. I'm like, yeah. Britt, you should have seen the late one. It was crazy. It was dude. so sick. It was crazy. I just like just came up with a thing and I was like, I've never, that's crazy. I did it last night. Turned did the jets really? on. Yes. First show was average. Yep. Went upstairs, sat there. People were like, that was awesome. I was like, that fucking sucked. Yeah. They're like, was... oh, you're fucking, you're a psycho. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I guess. I was like, I can do better. <laughs> I was like, All right, dude. <laughs> It's not that serious. <laughs> you're at a bar in Long Island, dude. Oh, Relax. But it is, dude. I'm like, oh. it is. It means that it's the only thing that matters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does help. It does help. I had a bad one, good one combo on Friday. It was like, okay. And then that night, it was weird. I'm getting good at being able to be like, all right, that was annoying and super stressful. And just being like, brain dump. <laughs> Who cares? And then I had a blast. That's good. It used to just, I, could, I was like, damn, I used to dwell on everything for so long. I told you I had Maya in the showroom, and I oh. got back and I was like, "You can never bring our our daughter in the showroom. That's ridiculous." And I was just like, "I just, you know, I watched her just so I can like." But I'm like, "All right, all right, no big deal." <laughs> I'm like, "Let's move past this," and just brain dumped. Yeah. And then had a blast. And I'm like, "Damn, I would have carried that with me," and been like, "This is why I can't do this." This is like, yeah, that's, that's real. That's me though. I, I, I do dude, that I, all day. I used to do that all the time. I pout. I used to do it all the time, and I would go, oh, dude, I can't do this. This is why I could. It's just like, dude, whatever. Let's roll. Let's roll the dice. Let's just roll the dice Cast again. the die. <laughs> Cast the diary. Had my mind off, dude. I was shitting so <laughs> yeah. much. That. That'll take your mind off problems. <laughs> yeah, true. If you have vicious diarrhea, you're like, nothing matters. I, I just did, need to be near a turlet. I did a hard reset, dude. Need to get to a turlet. True, that was. Dropping a vicious diarrhea in a public place sucks. The green room, dude. I did I've, hit, I've hit all the way the airport, thank God for the Delta Lounge. That's where you drop Ooh, vicious diarrhea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I dropped on a plane on the way. On the way. Uh, that's unbelievable. You have to. You're dude. not afraid to shit on a plane. I that's, have to. That's let's roll. That's flight <laughs> that's the dice, dude. You're ready to <laughs> st- storm the front. Well, I'll just go. I'll just go. I'll forget about this as soon as I'm like it's going to be embarrassing. As soon as I sit down, it's over. Nah, I just I just go. I'll get off the plane. No, that's what fine. I mean. As soon as you take that. Oh shit, yeah. Like, oh yeah. I'm back in my seat. Yeah, dude. No, what are they going to do? Nothing happened. Yeah. Although it was a small one, so it's like I forget. You can't what, take a huge shit. That on the was plane. to Salt Lake. Salt Lake, I think I had to take a dump it's on a the long plane. Long flight. Yeah, and I again, I, that was when I almost shit myself on the way to the airport. That was my fault. That was dietary. <laughs> that, was <on> the- <laughs> that was dietary. That wasn't the horrible worldwide you pandemic. Jackson. You got into the trash can before. <laughs> dude, you Jackson's left. going blind. No. Yes, dude. He's he's. Been, I've been noticing him. Like, I'll walk him, oh, and he'll like walk into sh- fucking like street poles, just clonk, and he hangs behind you. So you're walking, all of a sudden he's like, boom, you're like, what? And instantly you're like, 
what the fuck, dude? Because you just yeah. you just come to a crash. Yeah, and yeah. And he'll hear his head just nail a pole. God, I hate walking a dog when they decide when they think they're in control of where dude, we're going. Dude, well, what I've learned, though, is... When I was he, a young man, I pulled the shit out of my I, dog. Dude, like I, a I was, fucking psycho. I was doing that like six yeah, months ago. Doing that, oh, dude. Yeah. dude. I mean, my dog him, was huge too we it reached a, a truce battle, dude. dude we reached a truce because i would go i'll get so mad that i would do that like full step yeah like, when they're here. walking and they're smelling something for oh, 10 you minutes ever see someone else do that and you go yes. jesus dude. yeah it's crazy yeah I, I was doing that now i've learned if he pulls hard twice in a row it's usually because he has to shit or pee so now I go, all right buddy and then if he pees after that and he still fucks around like tighten the leash and go let's go brother yeah we're fucking out of here so he'll fuck around non-stop yeah but crazy. now he's fucking blind dude so like he'll go, I'll let them off their leashes to take it down. It's kind of fun though. Dude, he's fucking, he's so nice, dude. Yeah. It makes him even more lovable though. Being in a house with a blind dog's pretty fucking great. Dude, he walks they in. They get shit. lost. Yeah, dude. He walks You'll in. find them, they're just in a corner, just <laughs> <laughs> Lamise had him and he said he walked into the dishwasher like twice. Just I've walked bonk. into a couple dishwashers. <laughs> <laughs> I fell through a dishwasher once. Did you really? Yeah, I was fucking hammered. Full or lo- was it loaded it was with plates? O- the door was open. Oh, God. I was at the sink. Shit, it was in college. And I yeah. just fell through and smashed the door off a dishwasher oh. at my friend's house. And I got up and went to bed. True. And they're Close like, who it. ripped the dishwasher <laughs> off? I was like... <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be like eight hundred dollars. That must have been so loud. It must too. have been insane, dude. Oh my god! Damn it! Fucking bro, I ripped it off. Dude. You could still shut it, even if the bottom. I was did right. shut it. You shut it back. Yeah. Somebody opened. It. <laughs> somebody opened it. it. Was like, what the fuck? Someone thought they hulked out. They're like, holy fuck, dude! I fucking ripped it off. <laughs> oh, that's such a fun. There's nothing better than breaking something and getting away with it. Being yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> They're like, did somebody? fall through this was, i'm trying to think i don't remember falling through it loud <laughs> i you heard would have woken up I, heard, <laughs> <laughs> I did hear something go bump in the night but i didn't think it was like crash. <laughs> i thought it was just a raven rapping at my door i thought somebody was rapping at my chamber dude, door dude, me and the mayor saw a uh, a big spooky head on the way up here it's a fucking, a dude in an orange jeep and he finally busted out since it's halloween season the tire cover with like the sick and twisted Ooh. jack-o'-lantern and we were to do it it's got to be being like a serious spooky head like that lamare seems to agree well lamare floated the theory and i kind of agree with it that they're just like they're nasty dude if you're been if you're waiting to bust out the menacing apparel no that's, that's a spooky so head fun it's a spooky head is it fun or is it like demonic that's what we were trying to figure out I started getting it. I started the Jeep tire thing is were you guys a little high for this? I took my office, took my <laughs> microdose. So I was getting deeply unsettled trying to figure like what was yeah, the root. If I was high, I could see me being like, that's a fuck that guy's fucked up to want that. Well, like what's at the root of being a spooky head that hard? Uh jocks. Tro- you think so? Jocks jocks were me. Troops yeah. get the pass. If you want to get the Grim Reaper tat and you're the troop, obviously, dude, get spooky tats. I yes. you need those. This is a dude on the way Unless to his office. Like ROTC. It's like, all right. Yeah, chill with that shit. Yeah. That's some bullshit. But yeah, dude, I was watching. This guy's just like in office clothes, driving his orange Jeep with a fucking just the most menacing jack-o'-lantern face on the tire cover. And I was like, dude, like you took time to fucking yeah. put that he thing took off. Life's good off. He took life's good. Menacing fucking guy. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, what are you like? What are you getting out of that? I mean, if it makes you happy, you're like, I, lo- I just love the season. Cool. But I was like, is there like a twisted ulterior I do motive? like that season. I love the season, too. I love the Halloween music from the movie Halloween. Yeah, I love the spooky season. Come on, dude. But it's like, dude, how hard were you, like, how hard were you, or how long were you waiting for to just get totally spooky? Yeah, you had to I, wait all summer, just like, dude, I can't wait. I enjoy, I enjoy all it. All I want to do is scare everybody. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of like, yeah, dude, I fucking I have a bloody knife under my, I'm just kidding, it's a decoration. It's it's fake. Like, Jesus, man. What the hell? A murder weapon? <laughs> Murder's not funny. Not at all. Not whatsoever. Although, but again, it's like you do get to, when the se- when the season gets kicking, it is nice. It's funny people don't use guns for that. Yeah, really. You know what I mean? It's always a butcher's knife. Yeah, true. I might get a big Just blown a up. a big giant handgun and be like, yeah. this killed five people. I might get one of those blow up things from my front yard that's just Mandalay Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is weird. I mean, it yeah. is sick to like totally embrace death for like a month, but it's not even about that. It's about girls being sluts, dude. They don't even care about death. It's about girls being sluts. Like I, dude, I'm just trying to celebrate death in my fucking abuelos. 
and it's just women dressed scantily, and I'm going, this is not what this she is would, not Halloween. This is not what a this is would have wanted. Not Dia de los Muertos. <laughs> it's all about just flash, dude. Fucking get. I don't naked. like to. I yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm like trying to like Dia. No. We need to go pray at the cemetery. That's what I'm saying. Talk about knees. skeletons. Exactly, and then have some pumpkin. Dude, how cake. scared of skeletons are Hispanic people? The most. They're so afraid of skulls. Oh my god, dude. Dude, you know, there were people, I, I don't know if it was Spanish people, but people used to keep your ancestors' skulls. And you were just like, you'd have like your dad's skull. He would die and you'd keep the skull. Nice. And be like your grandfather's skull, your dad's skull. Yeah. And you'd just fucking be like, sweet. You'd keep check. it in your room. You go, now what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Not so funny now, are you? <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bitch. <laughs> Jerk. True. You treated me like shit. Now look at you. <laughs> You're a fucking skeleton. <laughs> I didn't think about that. You'd be like, fuck you, dude. Fuck you, pussy. Yeah, I was fucking around up at that school that you paid for, dude. Yeah. All right, You didn't have to get in my face about it. I don't even want to go to Catholic school. I begged you to public school. And yeah, I was messing around, all right? I did. There was a lot of horseplay, Dad. You didn't have to be a <laughs> fucking prick about it. <laughs> you up there messing around at that school, stressing your mother out. <laughs> Yeah, Dad, I was messing around. I messed around the whole fucking time, dude. I didn't listen to a I didn't single thing. Do one thing. <laughs> I was a fucking dumbass the whole time. And I know you messed around too. Yeah, very Shakespearean. Yeah, true. <laughs> Holding your dad's skull, being like, "You jacked off. You jacked off a bunch, and I didn't even think about it." <laughs> Until I held your skull. Now I'm holding your skull, thinking about all the times you must have jacked off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's what I'm talking about. That's podcasting 101. Dude, fuck you. That might be 102. That is the next level. That's AP. That's AP podcasting. We do gotta get That's some what interns. separates us. Oh, for sure. A lot of people aren't talking about holding their dad's skull and thinking about all the times he jizzed. Exactly. Dude, nobody is. And all how Mexicans are afraid of skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's talking about how Mexicans are afraid of skeletons. We don't need a wall, dude. We need to put up spooky Halloween decorations. <laughs> that <laughs> Skeletons dancing. They'd be like, oh, Dios mío. <laughs> Wait, you were saying that's boring. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Just put up a bunch of scarecrows. Skeleton scarecrows and then <laughs> <laughs> brightly colored skulls. That'd be so scary, dude. Even the coyotes would be like, "Oh, Dios mío!" <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've been living wrong. That was fun when I was in Spain. They just got Halloween. Did they really? They were like just getting the Americanized Halloween. Oh. They were so pumped. Damn, you're like check it out. They're like, dude, we get to dress up as fucking vampiros. <sighs> What the fuck, dad? You probably reeked too. I was just thinking about that, dad. Dude, I like oh, fell down. Yeah, I fell down. I would get the, in the yeah. car with like my aunt after like me and my cousin would smoke cigarettes, and she goes, "You guys smoking?" I was like, "No, it was, it was a fire." <laughs> <laughs> just reek of a marble light. Yeah, there's so many times where you're like, "Man, these people, I got away with it." It's just parents that are like yeah whatever i'm not gonna fucking tell on him yeah i don't like you know what i mean i don't feel like talking to his mom and being like they were smoking cigarettes yeah i think someone like sold a cvs and we were smoking cool wides every weekend for like three weeks how old were you i was probably like 17 18 really Ooh, yeah. dude when did you start when did you smoke cigarettes fifth fifth grade, fifth grade? Sixth. so fifth like 10 sixth. yeah you, have, dude. you yeah. never have earrings right no okay yeah dude we used to, I, used to, I remember smoking cigarettes when i was a youngling dude I started around then, like ten years old, and we would go out in the woods and just like take black. We used to just get Philly blunts and smoke them to the face. We used like, to roll up like paper. We would take printing paper. Same. We were Head just highs, smoking dude. everything. We used to smoke sugar. Me and my cousin used to roll up sugar packets. We used to just like grab dried leaves and smoke. Yeah, we started them. smoking weed in, when we were in fifth grade. Did you really? Yes. Where did you get weed from? I don't know. That's weird. Beasters. I oh, never. I never got high. high. I literally you never got, got high, high once. <laughs> That's hot eyes. Never got high. I definitely never inhaled it. We would always smoke it out of soda cans. Pure too. red. Yeah, yeah, just get some swag. I just, yep. I only, I don't think I got. Yeah, I didn't smoke weed till I was, I think, in graduating eighth grade. I think I might have took a couple of res hits, but I don't want to brag. Yeah. Smoking res is where it's at. First dude. time I smoked weed was because of Matt. When was that? At you brought me to Drexel when I was like a fresh, no sophomore in high school. I went to Drexel and I was chilling. Hung out that pothead, it was Mr. With, Olympia. It was with was Matt. It, it was with Mr. You, Universe Tom, was smoking weed. <laughs> you, Arnold smoked weed. There's videos of him doing it. Tom, Everyone. Timmy, Kev, we all went out. Ooh, you're the, you were living over on uh, where the hell is that? Uh, Spring Garden, Fountain Ave. 
at the bottom of Palatine Avenue. Hey, is that your rig out there, man? You're like, yeah, dude. I was fucking young. I was like a sophomore in high school. Matt was breaking down Kanye West and Kid Cudi poker face lyrics with his friends. When I got what? there, they were breaking. They're like, was it? "Dude, he mentions getting head three different ways here." What? I was like, "Dude, college dude, you're is a sick." Lying, I was dude. like, Yo, "You guys were breaking down Poker Face." You're like, "Listen, you talk talk Poker Face." Yeah, yeah with Kid Cudi, he's like, he talks about getting head three different ways, and I was like, "Dude, this is fucking sick." I don't remember that. We were drinking Captain Morgan and ginger ale. Right, wow, you're right about that. And then nail me on that. That's my yes. favorite drink. <laughs> we went to a party, and someone passed me a bowl, and I hit it, and I was just gone. I remember the last next thing I know. I was looking out of a window, like going up to the seven. Think about Kid Cudi and like, Wallet. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> then I got to Keto's and we went back home. That place was sick. It had like a catwalk and shit. Hey, what do you think of Wale as a lyricist these days? I don't know. I don't even remember that. Dude. I remember. It sounds like something I was. I was more into rap. Dude, music. I admitted. Yes, I remember I that was happening down and then going lyrics. back to school. I don't even remember. I don't remember that. So I, it sounds like something I would be into. Yeah, it was when you guys had that blue tr- the blue van because the next day. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The next day, I was, like, throwing up out of the side of it. Yeah, you don't handle weed well, do you? No, it wasn't weed. It was because of Captain Morgan. True. We were listening to music. I thought it was sick. And I got back home, and I was talking to my younger cousin. I was just like, dude, if you smoke weed, music sounds good as shit. (laughs) (laughs) Man. Did you cry? Did you ever get get caught drinking? We never got in trouble. I only got caught drinking once, and I was... Super pissed off because I thought I was going to have to lose my girlfriend, but I didn't, so I was chilling. I was all your ground for like a week. Were you what? super pissed off or were you super sad? I was super sad. That's the girlfriend I wrote Lottery of Love. I love her. Oh, wait, he wants Lottery of Love. Love Nose. Oh, oh. 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 Love my Alex. He, he saved me. This makes me so happy. He sa- you guys oh, dude, he's trying to humiliate each other. <laughs> he, sa- he saved we Aaron stuff out before. Thank God, dude. I told Thank God sh- I only have two evil sisters. Oh. Yeah. But I had to, dude. The gain, but it's good you have brothers that check you on your gayness immediately. Yeah, it's just some a, guys you can run amok for a while and then you get drilled with something. That's they let, they, yeah. sisters are like the FBI. They, they like let cases build. It. <laughs> yeah. Brothers, brothers are like local police where they're like, oh, we got him on speeding. It's like, no, let him speed. <laughs> We're gonna see where he's going. They build like Rico charges yeah, they on cross you. Cross you, dude. Yeah, he had, there was a file on the computer. Yeah, you weren't really much for getting caught drinking. You're more of like a porn guy. You got no, I, didn't, I only porn. got caught. You're more like, of a sexual pervert. I got more of a sexual porn porn once. You were a sex pervert. Caught with more than I once. ever got caught with it. I was, it was because of you. What? Film, film I made a drink. I with Hoss, and I got a bunch of porn <laughs> magazines, slit the box spring, and put them all in there. Solid. And then I came home. There was like tranny. How did she cause me? I did a clean out through you. Like, Yo, check it out. Did you say I, there was tranny porn? They were in the back, the ads of those <laughs> of magazines. Course, they're always in the ads. They're more. treacherous. <laughs> they're always in the ads. Come on, dude. You don't remember that? all that? No, I never, I never like looked real at porno up mags. magazines. You never go to the back, mags. and it's like a tranny and shit. Never use mags, ever. Really? Mm. What did you use? Just mind beats? <laughs> yeah, I think early. No, we had porn. We had pornos. We had like Max? videos. You had. We had tapes. How? Where'd you Where'd you watch that? Uh, I think my one friend's parents were sexual perverts like you. <laughs> <laughs> they were obsessed with pornos. Yeah. I think you watch a lot more porn than I. Do, don't but. you dare put that on me. I don't watch. Oh, porn these days? Yo, I'm yeah. off. Porn. I'm off porn. I've been off porn the longest. I've time heard that the McCusker boys love telling you they're off porn. That's I'm off they, porn, dude. They lead with it in conversation. I, just, I go huh? straight caveman mode. Do you? Oh, yeah. I sit in my room. Wait, I like think of every women? time I've ever had sex. That's nice. Nah, dude. It just, I rifle through my brain then finally. Like, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah, if you can't make yourself come with imagination, you don't need to be jerking yeah. off. I was tempted hard today. I got a nap. Bay was out working out. I had full, it, it all, I was like, just do it. I said, nah, man. I Waking swished. up from I nap swished. owners are serious. I swished. Yeah. I swished myself jerking off with the person. It's who good staying at, uh, whenever I stay in Philly, I landed like, so... I don't jizz when I'm in Philly. Stay over at uh, Sixes. Sleep on the couch. You yeah. Can't jizz. Don't look at me like that. Oh, yeah, it's a tough sure. jizz, dude. Can't jizz at, on the couch. Don't they have like a leather house. couch? Yeah, you can't jizz Get on that couch. a sweaty couch. back and a sweaty ass. I've Sound never hard, jizzed dude. on that couch. That's, a, that's, a, that's like the sweatiest your balls can get. And you can't sleep on, on someone's couch. couch and jizz. It's you, the wrong thing. You can. I've done it. I've done it. But it's the wrong thing to do. It's the wrong thing to do. It's a tough bathroom to beat off into. There's like peeling paint and shit. You can't jerk That's off That's the only there. way I'd do it. What? When I would beat it, because I came up just beating off in the bathroom. True. I can't beat off. I feel like a weirdo beating off my bed. Really? Oh, yeah. You still just beat off in your I bathroom? I still go in my bathroom and do it. Lamorp, how did you guys beat off? I know you and your brother shared air mattresses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was the move? It was, it was Dutch just, runners. Uh, Definitely. I would, I would beat off in the shower a lot. You're a shower guy? Yeah, yeah. Tub. Shower guy was when I was young. Yeah. Yep. 
You beat the hell out of your dong in there. Brother, I remember, I remember <laughs> my dong took some crushing Dude, I used beatings. to like try to stick my dick in shampoo bottles and shit. I used to get freaky. I wasn't shower. getting that freaky, but like the water would make yeah, you water wax makes your carrot. Yeah, like you get like fuck your dick like bleeds. Well, here's what you gotta do. Well, first of all, I used to vaz up two hands. <laughs> I would go in the shower with just like oh, full yeah, on fuck your hands. monster jelly hands, jelly monster. Lean my fit, double fist against the wall, and just fuck out and fuck my hands. <laughs> You had a better imagination than me. And then, and then, and then, and then when I, I used to try to like take toilet paper rolls and I try to get it. Toilet paper rolls is the go-to. I think everybody's done it. I think everybody's considered it. Yeah. I just couldn't quite MacGyver it. Phil hit me with one. I almost oh. Phil. So we're at dinner, and somebody was like, "Oh, my skin's all dry." I was like, "Oh, I have some cocoa butter in my room," and Phil was instantly like. <laughs> and I was like, "What, dude? What?" Wait, I shouldn't have said what. This is a dinner, like this is like Thanksgiving dinner. Oh this is man! Like, and Phil was like, "Because <laughs> I said I had lotion in my room," and, then, and I was so close to being like, "I don't use lotion." Oh, you almost offended. I had yourself. to. A trap. And then you don't want to say that. You well, can't you, be at the dinner you, you table and be like, lotion, I don't though. use lotion. You don't use lotion? Okay, if at hotel, I use lotion sometimes. True, only, only on the road. I yeah. don't either. I'm dry Hotel's guy. nice. Yeah, I'm a dry man myself. Same. Although I will say in the shower, if you're jerking off shower, in the shower, you can't use dry You shower. imagine you're getting a hand job, but then you imagine you're getting head. You switch and let the water warm you up, and it's like pretty close, dude. I got a hell of an imagination. You got such a nice yeah. imagination. Yeah, that's a move, man. You get, you're get jerking off. Oh, I used to have a fantasy in the shower. Where I was just getting hand jobs. You're creative. Just getting. I mean, definitely. You're a creative. I mean, yeah, hundred percent. I would just get hand jobs all the time. Is okay. this detrimental to psych now? Like your psychiatrist, your therapist going on here. You listen to your fucking therapist. Shampoo be like, bottles. Yeah, I used to fucking lube my hands up with Vaz and Not fuck all, a wall. Dude. Not at all. And then you sit down and discuss problems. Would you say this? The whole, no, the whole thing is totally total open without pretense. Yeah, total openness. That's awesome. Totally without pretense, dude. Go to without the rigidness. Go to of, Yeah, without the rigidness. Check of, out Psychonaut. Uh, yeah, check out the website, dude. P S Y C H. Uh, shower A-W. slugs are kind of disgusting, though. Shower yeah, I never slugs. go away. Yeah. Kevin put me on to the shower slugs. Yes. And he was like, you know, it like adds up and builds, and he, sh- he like showed me one of my slugs, and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> also, the slugs can get on you. You ever jizz and then get in the shower, and then you just get a slug attached. Oh, they to dry you? out on yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, it dude. washes off all the other whatever the other stuff is. Yeah, they pull, they like, they collect like just, nine the of, are just all left the, over. Yeah. yeah, they collect like nine of your leg hairs together. Yeah. And pull, and you're like, ah. Yes. Or you put pants on, you're like, what the, like, oh, I came everywhere. Last oh, I night. Had jizz on my thigh. Put your jeans on, it feels like half your legs made out of plastic, and you're just like. <laughs> but yeah, no, dude. This is good talk. It's great talk, dude. Get your hands off. Yo, he's me, anchoring dude. you, dude. Yeah, I know what he's no, I know he's, what he's doing. He's I know what you. Bill's doing. Like, Bill, I'm not Swish. one of your buds. What? We're not playing this. Why? So you roll into this gym. You, you, say, yeah. you came in. Now do you say what did you say? It's kinda cool. Make people you know, make people yeah. walk through a horrible stench. <laughs> yeah. It's got, I like it. Humbles them. Exactly. Gets people ready they go, for Yeah, comedy. I guess I am a piece of shit. Maybe I should <laughs> listen to this guy instead of yell out my opinions. <laughs> that is nice. Yeah, the club is dealing with scent issues, but the room was great. Did you get to walk to that, that mall at all? No, I never I never walked the mall. I got there early enough to go to the mall, and every store I walked by was closing as I walked by it. Yeah, the mall <laughs> is closing right now. I think uh, Cheesecake Factory is going strong. For, I got a full <laughs> mall. I'm always curious about the mall. We got, I got a full rundown. The Cheesecake Factory is going very strong, but the rest of it is for sure closing. That's because the one around here? kitchen just closed. It's because so. Honky's, no. Honky's moved online. So now the malls had to convert to strictly African American consumers. Yeah. So the Cheesecake Factory is holding on strong. Strong, yeah. Uh, it's an anchor store. It's an anchor restaurant. Yeah, it it's is. not going anywhere. Yeah. Well, that, the the lady, the Uber driver, is like, well, the, the what do you want to call it? The Cheesecake Factory is keeping the mall afloat. I'm like, that's just one rent. They don't get like a percentage of the Cheesecake Factory's profits. No, but if you go to get some factory, you're probably going to hit the gap. No or one's something, leaving the know? factory with ambition. <laughs> no, you got to go early. You leave the factory. You're going. I'm, I got to go home. <laughs> I go home and Shit think about what I just did. Drink and drive home. <laughs> no, that makes sense. Two full choice. cheesecakes. No, I, I could see getting like a denim outfit and hitting the factory. <laughs> I mean, I think that's what they I know exactly what happens. <laughs> Matching t-shirts. I'm the king. She's the queen. <laughs> Those fucking bullshit t-shirts. <laughs> She's yeah, I feel beauty, like half the stores in the on mall the are just that store Beauty now. and the Beast, yeah. Beauty and the Beast is the nicest thing. You and your wife should get that. What is it? Beauty and the Beast. I'm, what do you mean? I'm the Beast, she's the Beauty. 
Can you I get him delivered? Yeah, can I get him delivered right now? You guys should get matching. We're both beasts. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with the beast. I'm with the beast too. <laughs> Wait, the second arrow is pointing to somebody else. Where's that? Where's that beast? That would be nice. That was my favorite matching sweatsuit I've ever seen. It was advertised to me on Instagram for some reason. You bought it? No, I wish. Man, gone forever now. True. No, now they're everywhere. Yeah, you can get it. I always get wanted one for to make your kids. It. Thing one, thing two for the kids. True, that's a good one too. Yeah, yeah, I do like that. It'd be funny to get one with your wife that was like she made them and made them very direct. Like yours is like I'm with beauty, and hers is like I'm with the fucking loser. Piece of <laughs> I'm shit. with the fucking guy that won't wake up before two p.m. and he has a fucking kid now. What the fuck? How, the how print you... is so small. You have to get up so <laughs> close to it. So what do? You, how do you hold that down? Because you do wake. That is pretty interesting. You you wake up super late every day still. Yeah. How the fuck do you hold this down? I've been wondering since day one. Well, I wrote it in the pre nut. I say, I haven't changed a diaper yet. It's been seven months. Nice. Pretty impressive. How do you th- how you feel about that? I mean, I wouldn't brag about being a fucking <laughs> dead, dead <laughs> beat. <laughs> I'm just impressed that I said it and she actually is going through with it. Um, but I'm I'm on night duty. I'm True. up until five a.m. So what do you do? Oh, baby. oh, that's nice. Yeah, so she has she gets to she sleep gets through to the sleep. night. Yeah. That's kind of okay. Cool. And then she also has to so work a full time job while sleeping. she takes care of the kid while I'm sleeping. You're in a bullpen all morning. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You're just right, charging your battery. Sometimes she'll. You Jet and wake me up at twelve thirty and be like, "Can you watch the kid, please?" Yeah, you go, and I'll fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a fucking sex dream about you. <laughs> Your eyes look like this, so that her eyes look like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's so tight. So you just do, you sh- shifting it up is a good idea. Yeah, you get yeah, yeah, that way. You, you don't have to talk to each other. Uh huh. That works. That'd be nice. <laughs> How's the baby sleep at nighttime? She wakes up twice to eat. Nice. Like 11.30 or midnight and then like Do you give her some of your fucking pizza rolls? <laughs> <laughs> She's getting the scent. You get, yeah. I, I still have some spilled You're on my shirt by the time I get up there. <laughs> ah, I'm still fucking burning. The baby woke up. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Man, I've been burning some fucking Tostinos in that house. <laughs> so how are you enjoying it overall? Uh, I'm enjoying it overall. Nice. It's very. She's so cute. Yeah. It's nice, but it's still. Uh, oh, you're a girl dad. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And it's not like we're not talking yet, so it's not like a real yeah. connection. You don't know if she's a dickhead yet. Yeah, she could be a fucking dickhead. But <laughs> How old is she? She's, she's really sweet. Huh? How old is she? Seven months. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's like the, when you just come out of the haze of it being like so boring. That's just for girls. Yeah. First six, seven months, just for girls. Yeah. If I'm, real is. Boy time is about to happen. She's starting yeah. to crawl. Oh, yeah. That's boy time. Mm-hmm. Girl time. When babies, girls love immobile babies. I I it's crazy. I don't get it. They love Dude, I'm they telling love you, it. It's bizarre. Yeah. It's it's, it's like truly When someone holds like shows me a newborn baby, I'm like, "Ew." Yeah. For the first several months, I'm like, "That's not I don't like it." They're just for girls, yeah. for real. They are for real for girls. When does the baby start talking? Around more, they start Hopefully. putting together words and noises <laughs> around like one and a half. Okay. But a lot of noises. No words yet. Yeah, one and a half, I'd say, and then around two, the floodgates open. Mm-hmm. But it's pretty tight. It happens so gradually, though, you don't notice. At first, you're like, this is going to be crazy. And then it's like so gradual that you're like, it, it's not, it doesn't like hit you out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Are you worried now about like shaping a human life and potentially like absolutely? It <laughs> snowball. It's snowballing. You don't I seem try... too stressed about much. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not. I'm too blessed to be stressed, to be honest. <laughs> Do you ever get high and bug out about it? No, I'm surprised. That's I haven't cool. like taken mushrooms or anything yet since then. Uh, I wonder if that will affect my psyche negatively. <laughs> but it's sick, dude. I get fucking no, the mushrooms ripped, stoned, and then I hear the baby crying, and I'm like, all right, let me hit this one more time. <sighs> Big hit. And then I just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> right, right, yeah. and I'm like, yeah, this is fucking tight, dude. Yeah. You ever get high as fuck and hear, hear the baby cry and go, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, a couple Five times. Five of fucking kids. Like, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> fucking forgot. I was still, when I first had a kid, I was still doing edibles a lot. And then I, they now every now and again, they'd hit me while we'd be like playing in a field. And I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'd be like, I gotta stop doing this. Come get daddy. Come get daddy like the in your head, you're such a hero. You're like, we got to get home. You're just like carrying them back. Like, oh, fuck. The worst. It's the absolute worst. Dad's fucking blazed. Dude. Get in the car. 
And it was, you're like, you can't have a panic attack. You're like, dude, you just. That's a good Dairy Queen stop, though. Oh, dad's high as shit. Yeah, true. Everybody's getting blizzards Everyone's today, getting dude. happy meals and blizzards. <laughs> Those are medicinal, dude. Medicinal blizzards. That is a medicinal, medicinal blizz, dude. We need a blizzard. We need to take yeah, our check mind this, Check this out, kids. It <laughs> just Whoa, immediately falls just all over falls my lap. lap. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we got to take our minds off how the sun looks kind of weird right now. <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong with the sun, it. kids. Get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the way these other kids are looking at you. No, we gotta get man. the fuck out. There of are here. no other kids here. I would get high. We'd be playing like a field, and I would get high and be like, "If I take my eyes off you for one second, you could run into the street." And I'd just be like, "We gotta get inside. This is <laughs> fucked up." Yeah, I fully anticipate being a, a leash guy at some point when she first starts to walk I'm, around. Dude, I'm for him. People make fun of white people and their leashes. I'm like, it's not a bad idea. No, we're gonna be leashed up at Disney World. I think leash them up. I will say though, having, Get a hard having an interracial child on a leash as a white man is gonna be a, true. It's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a rough look. True, true. Although if I dressed impeccably, I'd have to put on like a really nice suit. I don't know, dude. Wearing like a monocle might look worse, honestly, dude. If you look like the Monopoly guy, I know. I yeah, know. you gotta get like a SpongeBob sweatsuit. <laughs> yeah, minion pajama like, oh, yeah, pants. <laughs> Yeah, true. You couldn't wear like you couldn't wear like a powder blue suit and try to like look. I'll just dress up nice. <laughs> just dress up like <laughs> Fat Joe. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I get it. You know, the leash. Yeah, or totally. even like a shot collar, like <laughs> a little mile, a mild shot collar. Yes. I mean, there's nowhere in Philadelphia that I can envision taking her at all at any age. Yeah, like there's. I'm not gonna walk around fucking. Fishtown, Kensington. Take her when she's doing. Let her see what drugs do. Take like, her you to You want to do fucking Trank? You want to do fucking <laughs> Trank? This is what happens. I don't know. The first time I drove down Kensington Avenue, I was like, this is fucking tight. I want to get out of the car and walk around. Yeah. Now it's... Yeah. When was that? Before I moved to the neighborhood, so like four years ago. And I haven't been down that street since. It is a fucking nightmare. Dude, did you... It is so scary, dude. It's, it's, it's so scary. Did you see the thing shit. I shared on Twitter about Trank and how it's controlled by... There's a proxy war between uh, Mexican cartels and Chinese companies. Because the, the Trank is xylazine. It's the stuff they're adding to heroin and fentanyl. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it like... That's the flesh rotting shit, Yeah, right? it's like gets real acidic. And if you get a little cut, there's like this... You know like creatine tries to escape your skin? The, the trank is in your skin, and as soon as you get a little cut, it all rushes to escape. And then you get this thing called, like, epidermal ne necrosis, where your skin cells just start to die. It's Dude, it's yeah. so... And then, like, dudes get fully swollen arms, so there'll be a dude with just a gigantic yeah. arm. It's so fucked. But the, the thing is, is the Mexican cartels, allegedly, according to this thing I watched, they control the supply, but now Chinese companies are manufacturing it in powder form. But if you get caught selling the Chinese form... This guy was claiming that the Mexican cartels just put your picture out on like WhatsApp to fill his picture. <laughs> I'm waiting on it. Yeah, I mean, that's that's one of those things, too. It's like waiting. I, I heard a story one time about someone in another country where like, fuck, who was this? This was someone I knew. That's how their mom and dad met. The dad, the, the mom was in school. Yeah. She was like 15. And the dad was like, he paid a teacher money. He was like, keep an eye on her and keep her away from everyone. I'm going to make her my wife after she graduates. Yeah, you used to be able to do that. Yeah. And the guy, that used was, to be like common. Yeah. And then he was just like, all right, you're out of school. Come move in with yeah. me. I paid your teacher to keep you away from the boys. And now you're mine. And I was like, that's kind of yeah. sweet in some weird international way. That's what happened in uh, the movie Parasite. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got yeah. one. Hell yeah. <laughs> I got one out on there. <laughs> that happened in Parasite. Mm. <laughs> But yeah, man. Yeah, there weren't too many of those yesterday, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> During our one hour race talk. Not a lot of uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so you know it's not great. It was just <laughs> Yeah, or a couple like off the mic. <laughs> oh my bad. It's all yeah, good. I can't touch these. It's all good. You can touch them, dude. Totally, everything in here is totally sturdy enough to code. Uh yeah, man. It's it's one of those it's like the the apparatus, this thing's being pushed through, I despise. But then yeah. it's like, you know, if I'm if I was sitting there, you know, like the, the standard thing, like, well, that was my daughter, and I catch my daughter, I'm like, who are you talking to? And she's like, some comedian. I read that, I'd be like, I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. Yeah. So you know, it is what it is. True. That should be the thing. All the dads of those and powerful moms of that and of those kick -ass girls, moms. kick ass moms, yeah, should be able to go over there and just fucking get. Well, them she's got OnlyFans. There's 
It's just a kick ass monster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, you're, ta- you're just talking. You're talking goblin, dude. The goblin. <laughs> the goblin. Unfortunately, we probably shouldn't name her Twitter. But she's an OnlyFans. We're only just people more. True. Dude, we're sending a true. legion true, true, of true. jerkers, dude. Yeah, we're sending a legion, <laughs> legion of jerkers that are also going to be like, fuck it, bitch. That was yeah. fucked up. They'll be like, that was fucked up what you did to fucking. Uh, no, our, 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 our fans aren't. <laughs> now they're. They hate pedophiles. We roll up the pets. True. But they'll, they would probably, I mean, how nice would it be to jerk to a lady who rolled up a pedophile? And it was funny because people went at Goblin and they were like, well, she was like, I was 16. This guy was trying to get me to like come to like fly me out. It was something like that. I don't want to, I don't want to slander, but it was, it was something, it was, it was a bad thing. Like he was pursuing me and uh, he was courting me basically. Yeah, he was courting. Old school courtship, dude. He's courting. So he was courting her on some sort of electronic device and, uh. And there, the one guy's like, well, if you knew it was wrong, why didn't you t- shut it off? And she was like, because I was 16, like a famous guy yeah. wanted to hang out with me. Obviously, I was excited. And yeah. I was like, fair point, All Gob. Right. Fair point, Gob. Point Goblin? <laughs> What's a fucking goon to a goblin, dude? A goblin. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, if Goblin stood her ground, link the OnlyFans. Good for Gobs. That's not bad. Good for Gobs. R.I.P. Uh That's. I mean, that's all it is, dude. It's just like here today, gone tomorrow. It's just like that. Uncle Charles. Yeah, I'm going to miss him, bro. I'm going to miss Uncle Charles. <laughs> That's what hey, Delia was just hanging out and that fucking angel touched him. <laughs> that was the goblin's hand. Just. I mean, you see it, dude. It just fucking spreads so quick. It spreads dude, so dude, fast. As soon as there's blood in the water, and it's you're Trump. Al- if, you, if there's a green light on your head and you're allowed to get shit on, people just come out of the woodworks and are like, yeah, he bumped me at this mic. He's a fucking sack of shit asshole. <laughs> A thousand likes, twenty retweets. It's like everybody hated him. You see, it's like, all right. yeah, all right, yeah. I'm telling you, man. It's like we we're like a we're definitely like the people who like first had fire who would light it and be like, Whoa. Yeah, yeah. it's like we're we have this amazing technology. And we're just like, oh. yeah. <laughs> just it, it, we're not ready for what like the the tool we have at our disposal. Yeah, and the, yeah, and the the group the mob mentality thing of just piling the fuck on people. Yeah. Wow. Oh, at least let it breathe, man. Figure out. I, I but again though, you see the it's screenshots. Twitter. You're yeah. allowed to talk. Yeah. You're allowed to say whatever you want. Yeah. Right. It's a tricky one. I mean, I guess I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty simple, bro. It yeah, it's pretty simple. <laughs> the, 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 the thing again, the thing's cut and dry. It's just the process that's yeah. been set up is just like you know, I mean, again, it's like it, it only this all this stuff produ- it, it promotes trad values. The only way away from this is just a be like a conservative traditional for a dude. Because you were saying before, as like a girl, it's like, yeah, fuck. Yeah, you want to yeah. fuck? Oh, hell yeah. Fucking let's smoke weed and fuck right now. And like, you know, that's like 10 shows right now on TV. Yeah. But as a dude, if you're like, you want to fuck, girls are like, how fucking dare you? I looked up to you. And you have power? And it's like, what? Yeah, Delita's power was used. That's, yeah. We've said it before. That's the, you know, whatever. But That's the crux. Wait, what were you going to go for? The famous dudes that's the point of being guys get famous and they're like i can't wait to get pussy whenever i want yeah. and they get famous and you're like do you want to fuck me and like nine out of ten chicks is like absolutely yeah and then one happens to be a fucking blogger and it's just like fuck you dude or again but then this his case is different because <laughs> he was being a fucking petter ass yeah i'm just talk, i'm talking about i'm separating the process from the petter ass dude it's like yeah that's the process of just being like you're famous. You're a famous dude. Like Aziz. I'm talking about the Aziz effect. I got you. You're Aziz. You're good. You're, I'm, you're, I'm you're, you're in the clear right now. I'm, you're I'm, flying clear. I'm fucking flying clear. No, That's no, the other no, thing too. Here. The other thing too. If you want to be in this motherfucking game, it's a dangerous game, bro. This is a dangerous. There's only game, one dude. way out. It's dead or canceled, dude. That's it. That's, <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's how this ends. That's it, bro. But I'm as a man of this earth, I'm fully ready to go sit and rip tickets at the concrete pit. So it's like I have. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, I'm not reckless. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't it's be stifled. Truth. Can't be It's just about Veritas, bro. I might get Veritas tattooed on my fucking chest. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> no, that was a bad one. You can't just give them out, dude. That was fair. Uh, that might have been a. Veritas. That might have been like a. Uh. Uh, like a. Uh, True. Might have been a. You know, a, a rotten tomato. Dude. That been <laughs> 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 what uh? But yeah, man. The I don't know. There's no. I got got nothing else. Well, the whole. It's just again. It's the. It's like there's Aziz who was a horn dog. Wanted some puss. Yeah, (laughs) I don't think he was that much of a horn dog. 
He just thought he was getting head. And again, the <laughs> girlfriend, obviously, she ditched her boyfriend she was dating on the date. No one wants to talk about that. And she was like, I was on a date and I met this other guy and I just stood the guy up and hung out with him all night. And the guy that I stood, this is Aziz we're talking about, stood up her boyfriend, tried to hang with Aziz. And, you know, he was like, yeah, I'll fuck you, I guess. And she was like, well, I kind of want it more. And he's like, no, I don't. And then she was like, fuck him and wrote it on, and like dragged that dude through the fucking uh, mud. That and, Aziz thing was total bullshit. And everyone knows the Aziz thing was bullshit. Yeah. Like everyone. Yeah. And it's still like, if you bring up Aziz, people are like, yeah, man, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's like a weird <laughs> tattoo. Yeah. And then to Scarlet letter, Dalia, he was hunting endangered species. That's his crime. Dalia, yeah. He was poaching. He's poaching, bro. He, he was going for ivory. He was getting some, <laughs> he was he was getting some Cecil's. <laughs> He's getting Cecil the line down there. He was poaching, bro. He's a dentist. True. He was, po- he was poaching. But yeah, dude, the, uh, that shit, that, that was something I didn't expect to wake up to this morning. You never know who's fucking next, man. It, it's been like the new cycle has just been like deadly disease, race wars. Crystalia. Crystalia rapist. You just, it's just like in the annals of time. It was just yeah. like that's the new cycle right now. Yeah. Because they're still trying to pump up COVID now. They're like, guys, come on. Remember? get back to COVID. COVID. I see less and less masks. I, I, every day I see it. That's a weird thing too now. I'll walk my dogs and I'll see somebody. <laughs> it's like I'll be like, hey, good morning. And then I just – it's just glasses and a mask just like. I'm like, yeah. I, I don't know. I can't tell what facial expression you're making. I don't know if you hate me or <laughs> it's it's the social anxiety anymore is at like the like the most critical levels of like you go and see people. And it's like, do you interpret me as like a, a biological agent of destruction? Like, do you think I'm bringing you like pestilence right now? Yeah. And then it's like, if you happen to be another race than me, like, do you think I'm like an oppre- Am I like a, a well, Matt, a dirty oppressor? My what disease you, carrying. Well, Matt, what that's how. Think? That's what goes through my head. Welcome to being black, Matt. Excuse me. What? <laughs> Sorry, what? it's uncomfortable you for a couple of days. <laughs> uh huh. Can I get one on that? <laughs> I was pandering for a. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I hate that argument. It is a bad argument. It's like, yeah, you think things are bad yeah. for me? I want them bad for you. It's like, what the fuck? Like, why don't we just? Fix yours. Well, that was uh, – Brittany hit me with that. I was like, Brittany, I just don't want to be on lockdown. Like, this shit fucking bothers me. She's like, yeah, you don't like it, huh? And I'm like, what the fuck is – what does this have to do with it? She was just fucking with me. But I was like, what the fuck? That's not mine. She's like – We're getting into it. Not fun being on Here lockdown. Comes. Oh, dude, I I have – the only thoughts I have Here on this anymore – I outsource this whole argument yeah. to just Glenn Lowry, Sam Harris. They they break dude, it down. Sam Harris is my favorite one. I just listened to this dude. Whis- yeah, you Which were talking one? about the ASMR. Oh, the ASMR? It's basically an ASMR dude going the most roundabout way to be like, you know, sometimes black people suck too. <laughs> <laughs> he worked so hard to word it as safely as possible. And the message was like, also, I believe black people might suck also. <laughs> Have you thought of that? Well, the best is when he, if you listen to the whole thing, he'll be like on, on the, I think it's called like, can we please move away from the brink or something? Yeah. I'll be like, I'm about to say some things that are probably going to get you physiologically aroused and you're just trying to be mindful of what I'm saying. And yeah. it's like, dude, nobody, everyone's just like, what the, no, first of all, nobody's going to listen to that who disagrees with it. You're yeah. like, what the fuck? This is fucking bullshit. Dude, he builds an argument that's just like the fact that it's the fact that. He, so I see it. What the fuck am I to make of that? I don't know. It's crazy. But we'll figure it out. But yeah, dude, the uh, 2021, I'm I'm very, I'm right now, I'm super into conscious living in terms of Yeah, like, what are your goals? You guys, I listened to it. Dude. And are they, are they just too personal? No, not at all. All right. Dude, so I listened to, check out the Dad Meat episode of Matt and Wes on there. And uh, they, you guys were talking about like setting goals. So like yeah. what type of goals are you talking about? Uh, so right now, so you do them in like a bunch of different domains. It's like different domains. So you want to do like uh, health, wealth finances you know you do them so you get like really specific and i'm trying to do a, a home edition so that was my thing i'm like trying to like what, figure like, out build like build like a thing. have cool shit in your house no just goal? so we can have more kids but also it'd be cool so we need like more space so like yeah. figure out how to do all that expand um, the house build expand it the house level. get nice at identifying rocks that's one of my I goals. I know that that's been a goal. I've been, really I've been hearing good. rumblings of that being a goal of yours. Yeah, I mean, I'm really identifying into, rocks. I went from meteorology to geology really quickly. Yeah. So, but yeah. I, I mean, hate geology. Do you really? Yeah. So you you want to hear about my big quartzite hall this weekend? When I was a kid, I was a big fan of quartz. That was the one I could identify. Yeah. I'd and quartzite. I would go around and try to identify quartz. Yeah. That was big for me. That was the only rock I could ever What identify. happened? Why do you hate rocks now? I don't know. I just took the geology in college, and I fucking hated it. it Did you guys really get to like collect gay. rocks? Yeah, 
although in fifth grade we went to like a fossil field trip, mm-hmm. there was like a place where you could dig up fossils. That ruled. That's what I'm saying. That was fun. That's what I'm saying. But that's what we should well, do. I think that I th- should be your bachelor party. Fossil hunting? Go down to an old fossil place. Bro, don't tempt me, dude. Don't tempt me. I'm, I, I've been I've been looking at the uh, Pennsylvania like geological survey, mm-hmm. identifying good like good spots to go and fucking find cool rocks and shit. You, I think you're on a big thing of like an unspecified. I don't know if you're on like a real kind of crystal deposit where you grew up. I grew up on like garnet, like literally like garnet mines. So it's yeah. like I'm around like dark. I grew up around like underneath or with like dark crystals above me or below me. Excuse dark me. Dark crystals. Yeah, so, now, like, so I grew up in a so geologically... you're pseudoscience geology and <laughs> fucking garbage geology. Dude, they, it, it literally tells you on your thing what's underneath you. Like, what the... No, I know, but, like, you're you're talking about the dark crystals actually having, like, a dark magical effect. No, no, no. I, was, I grew up around... A, I grew up in a geologically exciting environment where I think you... I think... Oh, okay. I think up around you might just be, know. like, a bed we're of shale. Close, close to the mountains up there. Yeah. It could be. It could, you could be on region some action. limestone. I, maybe some diamonds over yonder. Let me see. I'll, I'll actually. I want to see what the rock type. Oh no! But for yeah, for the sorry, I won't get into that. But the gold stuff really is just kind of, for me, like it eliminates the feeling of like, what am I doing? Like with my life and day. Like I'll get into a thing where I just start like, going from like tab to tab on a browser. Just yeah. Like, and then I start being like, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I? And I start yeah. like just freaking out. So I've been starting to like map my days out very consciously. And dude, it's it eliminates like ninety percent of it. Yeah, that sounded good. I was listening to that and I was like It's pretty we gotta do that. Because here's mine right now. Yeah. See if you can ride the Peloton today. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know what? Gets around nine o'clock. I'm like, there's always tomorrow. So, dude, the thing they the, one of the tech because that's the whole thing, like how because I've been trying to take command of my day forever. Like I I literally I was like, I wish I could just wake up and like Well, it was nice when we worked. That yeah. was a way better way to have yeah. like True. It was nice. Then, then you come home and you're like, "Yeah, I'll fucking make dinner and play video games." Great exactly. Night. Exactly. Awesome. Maybe read. When you're in charge of your own schedule, but when it's you tough. have literally nothing on the schedule, especially when you get COVID nineteen, when you get diagnosed with True, the dude. dreaded disease COVID nineteen, then it's like yeah. you can't even like I feel bad going out at all. Yeah. Obviously, that was different, but that was like that was two weeks of just like that was that was weird. Are people still shunning you? No. Wait, no were one. they were they ever? I'm sorry. No. Yeah. No one really did. Yeah. Because everybody that was at that party I went to got tested negative. So you and O'Connor, O'Connor, O'Connor and Tommy just accepted their fates. They brave. went down with the ship. That's very Which brave. I do. Yeah. I That's did appreciate. Brave, yeah. And neither of them got it. Yeah. God rewarded their fucking bravery. 100% rewarded their loyalty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. But, uh, yeah, not having a, anything to do is actually – I mean, it's not hard. It's the easiest thing in the world, I'd which makes it shitty. Dude. Yeah, I think, dude. Yeah, that, that's what I'm getting as I'm older. It's like if you don't have a clear purpose, it's like it's, shit starts to get really weird. Yeah, that's and that's what that's what you know. I don't want to be one of the guys. that's like I need stand up, but like, yeah, that was my thing. That's yeah. what I was doing. Yeah, dude. That's, yeah, that's human beings. Dude, we're the only creatures who need to like make sense out of the things. You know, we can't just like come and eat. You know, it will come and eat stuff, and we could. It's not we all can. some that's of us. What I've been doing. Some, you know, again, it's like the classic I Scarface been, scene. Yeah, you're I've like, been coming and eating. Is this all there is, dude? Coming and fucking and fucking sucking asses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, dude, that's the um, that's the 2021 move, dude, of taking full command of the day. And, uh, you know, the, the thing with the Peloton, too, is pretty cool. There's a thing called, like, elastic habits where it's like, say you're not going to do, like, you know, four fucking hours or, like, an Olympic level thing. Yeah. You put a calendar and then you say, like, all right, I, I can have a thing where I do 10 minutes of it. There's another level if I do 30 minutes, maximum level is me doing it for an hour. Yeah. So you just do it for 10. If you're not going to do it at all, you just do it for 10 minutes, and then you have a calendar where you put, like, a color-coded sticker versus, like, which level thing. And you they have back it the on month. the app. Do they really? Yeah. Exactly. It's called, have your it, calendar. It's called Elastic Habits, dude. Yeah. It's not a big deal. It's and it rewards you for how many days you do it. And then they – now they're doing the, – there's a thing where it's, like, programs. Mm-hmm. It's good. This, dude, I'm it telling you. It gives you a program. It's like, People hey, need this. It. People need it, dude. Yeah, I need it. And I, I mean, fuck. I, I had a long period in my life where I didn't have to go to work and stuff. And, dude, I, it would just start to, like, fuck with me, dude. Yeah. You get you get full. I got a taste of, like, retirement kind of. Well, sort of. I'm selling drugs. But the, <laughs> <laughs> but the like, you know, I had the whole so day to myself. So that also makes you wonder, like, if those old women were appreciative of a guy coming in the window with a hammer and being like, all right, no more hanging out. No, <laughs> no more, more hanging out. <laughs> yeah. I thought you said whether they're selling drugs. From this hanging out. Yeah. I think once you're 70, it might rule. 
But, hanging out? I, I yeah, mean, I a, doubt there's any like internal no, pressure. No, it's gotta suck, dude. No, I bet hanging dude, out. Dude, going to the same store for like seventy years, and you're just kind of like, here I am again at this fucking place. Eating like, dude, like there can't be. It's like I don't know. I, I bet that inner drive of like I need to do something. I need to. True. Succeed. I bet that starts to. If if you have no like drive at all mm-hmm. to like I need to prove something to some sure like you know yeah yeah if that's gone, chilling rules. True. If that's removed, you know, yeah. It you like it's like when you <laughs> try to think about it's like that. when you accomplish something and then mm-hmm. when you're done. Yeah. You can do whatever, and you're like, nice, good day today. Yeah. I bet that's how it feels with life. You're like, oh, nice, I did it. Yeah, I don't have to. Now do I'm it. fucking chilling. It would be nice to have absolutely zero ambition. <laughs> and then, and just like wait till something exciting and be like, oh, sweet, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> what a nice treat. But imagine, like, dude, imagine you're like seven hundredth burger. You're eighty and you're munching a burger. You're like, I've like, it might. It, I has to lose the excitement at some point. Like burgers. Burgers, dude. Home improvement what reruns. Are you you're like, I've about? seen this rerun 400 fucking times. Uh, reruns times. get tired. Burger, you think burgers are wearing off on anybody? I don't Come know. On, bro. Sometimes I get you've that. You've had 700 I eat burgers. Shit. I eat shit. True. I love burgers every <laughs> yeah, single time. You've had so I think it's like burgers. jerking off. I think as long as you don't have a burger for a while, yeah. then that burger's going to be. Del- I think you're right about that. Because I, I sometimes I just get sick of eating and jo- I like eat shit. I'm like, I don't even care about food anymore, yeah. dude. I think that's just depression, but <laughs> that's depression. Yeah. In my case, occasionally food. it's Adderall. Yeah, <laughs> like, I don't even want to eat. I haven't eaten today. I should eat. Yeah, yeah. But no, that, that's that's a uh, that's what I've been doing. And dude, it's funny too because like a lot of that stuff gets a really negative rap, and then you try it and you're like, "Damn, this fucking rules, dude." What chilling? Map? No, I'm talking about mapping, mapping your. <laughs> no, dude, I'm talking about mapping your day out. <laughs> what about chilling and burgers? <laughs> they rule too, but chilling as reward, burgers rules. As a reward, I've been mapping my day out and just like crushing like yeah. to do lists and projects, and it, dude, it's like feels good. That's nice. So otherwise, I would just fucking like not. I would like vaguely not do anything all day and be like, Brittany, leave me alone. I'm fucking working. I'm busy. Yeah. I'm working podcast. And I would just like be a fucking dick. And then I would be like, I can't come upstairs yet. I'm not done because I would have sat on yeah. the line all day, being like, What the fuck am I doing with myself? Yeah. But now it's like, dude, like fucking five o'clock. Now imagine there's no Brittany and it's just O'Connor. You just turn on him occasionally. True. You're just dude. hanging out and then finally like, what the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> just <laughs> occasionally just spaz on O'Connor. That's what happens. Yeah. All yeah, right. Man. Let's, we got to, we got to switch yeah, over. Yeah, the page. Uh, page. Got some shows coming up. Let me know if you want to do any of these. Yeah, let me know. Hit me with the dates. The, well, you can't do this one. Obviously. 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st of January, San Antonio. Whew. LOL, San Antonio. Nice. 4th, 5th, and 6th. Of Feb- February, Good Nights in Raleigh, Ooh. North Carolina. 19th and 20th of February, Arlington Draft House in D.C. March 12th, 13th, Helium, Indianapolis. 19th, 20th, Helium, Buffalo. 26th, 27th. This is the one you should come to. Crown of Comedy in Auburn. If you ever wanted to film that special of me. Where's Auburn? Auburn, Alabama. Oh, it's a, I, th- I believe Crown of Comedy is a urban club. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude. You- if you ever want to film that special, this could be it. I might. I might. Dude. Yo, motherfuckers have been so much <laughs> pussy. I said, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be very hard for you not to do that there. I will do that. <laughs> I will do that. I've been watching, dude. There's a, there's Phil Rivers, one of the best quarterbacks mm-hmm. of all time. Yeah. He doesn't swear. He has like nine kids. Respect. You'd that. love this guy. Hell yeah, he's great. And he does mic'd up and he spazzes every single game. He spazzes, and it's always like, a like a, he's like a kid. But there's one clip. It's very funny. Uh, it's just fun to hear a dude like spaz. That's like dad gummit. He says dad gummit a lot. He says oh. golly. But there's one play. A defensive end tackles him. He just threw the ball. He gets hit while he's throwing it. While he's laying on the ground, he starts. He, the the receiver breaks it for ninety yards. Yeah. And Philip Rivers stands up. He's like ninety yards touchdown. <laughs> and he's like he walks like a little kid. Like he's excited. He's like oh. <laughs> and uh, this D end who's this like giant black dude is like man get out of here. And like the ref comes over, and he's like you see how 17's yelling in my face. And the ref like pushes Philip Rivers and is like get the fuck out of here. Like pushing him. He's like oh. He's screaming. <laughs> and then uh, he's like I will. He's like, I, I'm not allowed to be excited. He starts yelling that to the DN, and the DN's like, "Yeah, just don't do it in my ear." And he switches from being like, "Ooh, I'm not allowed to be excited," and then he goes, "Just don't do it by my ear." And he goes, "I will do it by your ear." <laughs> <laughs> it's the craziest thing, dude. It's so funny. 
He's like, yeah, man, have fun. Just don't do it by my ear. I will do it by your ear. <laughs> he, he jogs off. It's great. Just that spaz, man. I, mean, I, so I didn't think that was like a possible altercation that would be had on the field. I thought it was just more like, fuck you, pussy. Fuck. Yeah, it's always just like, yeah, well, all right, good play, but like. Don't yell in my face. I'm going to yell. <laughs> I'm going to yell in your ear. I'll do, I, that's what I do. Dude, not cursing. Really and then not unlocks, cursing. Unlocks you to be able to, I will. Uh, I, maybe I will yell. It. I will like, be enthusiastic. Fucking pussy bitch. You're like, I'm going to yell in your ear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you can't stop <laughs> yeah. me. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's exciting. Stuff. That's Dude, that pumps me up. All right, guys. Time. Thank you for listening. Yeah, man. San Antonio, come to that show. Oh, actually, hold your horses. What you got? Could be breaking news right now. Hold on. Maybe I'll release it on the Patreon. What, you got something else going on? Uh, yeah, I'm thinking what I'd like to do, and I think a lot of people would like this, yeah. is doing a perhaps a bi-weekly show at Helium in Philly where we just get us and our friends together and we do a comedy showcase That'd of guys sick. like Dab Meat, Wood, Six, and Shaner. That'd be awesome. Tommy, McKeever. Yeah. Oh, everybody. Yeah, just throw the dogs on there. Yeah, it'd be fun. Just do a showcase. That'd be fun. Bi-weekly. So fun. Come down on a weeknight. Oh, slam people rip like yeah. a hot five to ten, dude. Exactly. And then bring down some secret New York guys sometimes. Ooh. A little surprise soda, a little surprise. Whoa. You know? Whoa. That's what, I, that's what I'm working on right now with Helium Comic. That was one of the tight wads. They're, tight wads are, you know, they're doing what they do. Love that was, it, They just lowballed me pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> they just, just got hit with a good lowball, but that's really? fine. Yeah. So I was like, just give me enough money that I can just split it every week evenly with everybody. Mm -hmm. And it's somewhat worthwhile. Yeah. Because I think we'll sell it out pretty regularly. Probably. Yeah. And I'd like it to gain into a thing where people are like, oh, shit, this is good stand-up that we can see. Yeah. Regularly, you know? yeah. Like, occasionally, Rich Voss will be there. <laughs> you the know? fucking... Some legends. The headmaster. I Le can't got fucking Maybe Lemare will get a spot. Lemare, is this something you're interested in, what I just said? Yeah? Yeah. 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 Wow, <laughs> kind of big time in you, dude. Yeah, what's this? What was that move? What are you trying to do there? What's that? Yeah. <laughs> That's what you get. You just busted that chair. That's what you get for your insolence. Why would you do that towards me? Why would you treat what? me like that? I'm trying to get excited. No. <laughs> and I will be excited about it. No, I'm hyped, dude. I'm super hyped for it. All right. Well, I, I promise you, I promise you, you're never going to be on it. <laughs> I, 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 never think was, I think Lemaire thought you were setting him up for a fall. I wouldn't say. That's what I'm trying to get out of him. But I think he was just kind of like, nobody cares about this idea. Damn, he's big time. Dude, fuck Helium. Oh. Oh, is that what this is? Why is that? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm honestly I'm joking. I'm joking. Well, those are the bad jokes. <laughs> yeah, what's your beef with Helium? Helium rocks. What, they? because you guys keep asking to work there and they don't work you? Helium's cool. Helium's yeah. cool. <laughs> Helium's cool. <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, I don't like that. We'll see what happens, dude. The salty attitude out of some of our guys. <laughs> <laughs> dag, dag, gummit. Golly. I, can't golly. It, I literally finished telling the story and went... <laughs> 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 I was like, guys, look, the show is not going to be good. Uh, yeah, we're please. thirty minutes in. This is it. Yeah, let's wrap uh, it up. Guy threw up. They were like, should we clean? Should we clean it? I was like, yeah, you should. Yeah, you should it, just it, clean. You it. should be able to charge them like an Uber driver. Oh yeah. yeah. By the way, if someone throws up during your set, they should pay you two hundred fifty. There's bucks. no repercussions. You, you can know, go you know, into a venue and puke on the ground. Did you know the driver only gets like I think a hundred dollars of that two fifty from Uber? I found out, dude. I I been, the Uber fee like they they take Uber a cook? takes yeah. like half of the puke fee. So if you're a driver, you get you only get like a hundred. That's crazy. It's not even, dude. I I set my. Uh, I thought it'd be funny to set my chat preferences. I do Uber Comfort, and I set yeah. it to Happy to Chat, and just oh. to see if, dude. Happy and to the chat. drivers see it. You watch them click it and go, "Hey man!" And they start oh, a conversation. It's the to. funniest. Th it's so fun. That's nice. You get like Mexican guys that are like, "Oh, sup, man? I never think, gosh, cool, man." And you're like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, man, it's cool, man. And you yeah, start, dude. Yeah, yeah. They have to talk to you, and it's so fucking funny. That's actually sick. Now I'm thinking, dude. About happy it. to chat is the move. I just, I just get fucked up when I get the wrong. When you miss, you don't know what his politics are. Mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. you get a quick judge. You're like, all right, this guy's yep. obviously against the vex, dude. 
I whiffed on it. Hit him with it. Yeah, He's just uh, like, what? Yep. <laughs> like, All right, never mind. I whiffed on it hard. I whiffed on it recently when I was like, the guy was talking about, oh, I was getting my, picked up my car. I got, you know, new shoes on the CRV, dude. Pretty tight. Sick. I got new, fuck, you know, I put some new boots on that thing. Throw but some D's on it. Threw some good years on there. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking to the guy who was running the lot and he was like, the cars were locked up in this like chain linked compound looking thing. And I was just like, yeah, it sucks, man. And I was like, yeah, we'll co-. we were like agreeing on everything. I was like, yeah, we'll COVID, everyone covered their face for two years. The guy holding a mask, I was like, Fuck. he was like, yeah, well, you know, yeah, I guess so. I got it, yeah. And I was like, yeah, my yeah. bad, dude. That was, I ran into that in Texas. The, like, the first show I did back mm-hmm. was at Hyenas and it was packed. And I was, I was even like, this is, there's a lot of people in one room. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. dude. It was yeah. fucking like, they were like, we're at a quarter. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Clean. I switched between Ultras and my Hokas. Hokas. The hokas are too distracting. I wore them on stage, and someone accused me they of are having very cool. Distracting. They're very distracting. I can't wear them anymore when yeah. I do stand up. But the guy accused me of having cool shoes. That's because Mullen says that. <clears throat> what makes fun of people for having cool sneakers? Yeah, it can happen. So they are cool as hell. That's They're, why one of these very original redditors repeated that joke. True. Why I also you was should have said joke thief. Bitch. These are not joke thief. Should have rushed him off. I should have literally should have ran at off him stage. off stage. Yeah. You're like, fuck you, dude. Fuck you, man. That's so fucking hurtful. I'm up here doing my best, and you're out of say shit. Yeah, why are you doing that? What the hell are you doing, man? It's fucking bull crap. Those, were some, those are some flashy sneaks. They're so flashy. <laughs> flashy sneaks. They're so flashy. These You'd have are to more... be foolish, though, to think they're <clears throat> flashy in, like, a cool way. Yeah, I, I mean. They're not cool at all. I looked. I met my decision. I go, well, thank you. My decision. Yeah, I, they're not my, cool guys. My shoes. decision, I just go, yes, please, I'll take this. They're those. embarrassingly. Yeah. Gauche. They're just they're just <laughs> pure comfort vessels. I know, I know. Well, I thought it'd be cool to mix it up. You know, I've been going blue. I've been going blue that, and gray those shoes. Look, those to me are cool, dude. These are so comfortable. Those are snazzy. These are the most comfortable. Dude, I want to do an ultra commercial. Well, look at that fucking You're showing box. ankles with cool shoes. Look at that toe box, dude. <laughs> Excuse my ankles, dude. Pardon um, me. Now I got my tube socks on, dude. But yeah, dude, wide toe box is huge feels like you're in your bare feet in these things. You can move around. Those things are scrunching you up. Mm. You got wide feet? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea what's been going on in here. I can tell. Dude. I walked in. When I walked in here, I went, oh, Jesus. I got like hit with an overwhelming afterglow. Just imagine what I've been doing in I here. I walked in an absolute sexual aftermath. Just a pig <laughs> face in the butt. Just <laughs> you're suckling, dude. You're suckling at the trough, dude. <laughs> you have her lay horizontal and just get up in the trough, yeah. dude. <laughs> you I come into- running. I run from there. <laughs> I get in the bathroom and get naked. And she lays down and goes, dinner time. Sweet. And I go, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> and I run out. Dude, you should get into pig play. It is pride pig month. Pig play is nuts. Nice. It is pride month, dude. Yeah, the, bro, the boys were out yesterday. I saw. They're here. They're kicking around. Oh, my eyes are watering. They were having fun. Yeah, dude. Very prideful week. Yeah. My dad my dad threw a vicious PA towards you. Towards me? Yeah, all the way down. He was like, he's like, how's Shane doing? Oh, he's been here all weekend. He goes, yeah? What's he doing? I was like, dude, that's a Pete. No, he's doing. He's trying to say it was Pride Week. <laughs> <laughs> I was here all weekend. <laughs> so what? It's no big deal. He might have been complimenting you. He might have been like, I'm pumped for Shane. He knew, dude. He's so it fucks him up, man. He's not mad. Pride. He it, he's not pissed about it, but he's like, he's like worried about the traffic. He's like, I'm coming down there early. I'm not getting caught up in that. All that. <laughs> he yeah, doesn't want to call traffic. It's it is yeah. It's a gay traffic. Right down here. Rittenhouse is... Oh, it's crazy. There's a lot of gay foot traffic. I told, dude, someone fucking smacked it, sucked my hat right off my head. Yeah, you got to watch out for those guys, too. They're kicking around. <laughs> Violence? You ever see that? No. It's... You got to be in the mood for some Catholicism to really yeah, enjoy yeah, yeah. it. It's about... Oh, I think you told me about, it's about this. It's about the priests going over to Japan. <laughs> yes, yeah. Back in the day to try to... Missionaries. Yeah. Jesuit priests. Missionary style? Did it, Matt? <laughs> Matt, they're priests. True, my bad. <laughs> You would like it, dude. It's like I, a, dude, you show me a little bit of it. It's like looked a awesome. biblical fucking yeah, story, awesome. dude. There's a drunk Japanese dude that keeps failing, mm-hmm. keeps letting them down. They, keep, they have to forgive him for God. He's forgetting his Bushido. He's talking to God. He talks to Jesus. Towards Does the he? end, Jesus starts chatting back a little bit. Really? Dude. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what? Whoa. Oh, well, I got to watch. Dude, I, my backlog of TV stuff to watch is just. It's a long one, and it'll put you to sleep. If you want, your, if you want the women in your house to shh, quiet, that'll be nice. 
Toss Silence. That's why going. they named it Silence. <laughs> <laughs> it literally is. Yeah, that's I, I've updated it's cat my tranquilizer. It's way more than Revenant. Really, it's way more than there. There will be blood. Yeah, Silence is <laughs> Silence is the number one. Put your girl to sleep, dude. Yeah, that's a. I'm going to bed. Yeah, <laughs> I'm mad at you, <laughs> dude. They get hungry and get mad at you. It's tired. Up. It's true. hunger and being tired is your fault, dude. And then they can't eat. They're like, I couldn't eat. It's like, yeah, you fucking could. Yeah. You eat like with Uber Eats now. It's like, dude, it's a click of a button. Yeah. You had every opportunity. I'm just, they like starve themselves into just like a pure rage. And it's like, yeah. that's both of these. And are then completely it's your fault. Oh, it's insane. Yeah. It's, it's like both your anger and your starvation are purely unnecessary. We have the means technologically, financially. We have physical Go food eat. in the house. Yeah. What's the, what the fuck's going on? And then they munch, dude. <sighs> then Bro. they'll sit down and fucking howl. It's it. crazy, dude. And be like, I shouldn't have eaten that much. I hate myself. <laughs> it's like, well, that's because you ate. You don't eat. We'll go out to dinner. And you eat one bite. Yeah. And then you're like, I'm trying not to eat. <laughs> like, well, why'd you make me take you out to dinner? Well, then they'll, then they'll go home. And, and then I eat the other meal. Yep. I'm like, we're not going to leave this. Of course not. I'm going to munch two meals every time we go out yeah, to but eat. Then they'll now. go home and eat like ice cream with impunity, dude. They'll go no home problem. and just munch a fucking yeah. gallon of ice cream. And it's just like. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. We all are. True. True. But silence. If you want a good Catholic, put her to bed. If you're, if you're interested, if you want a quiet wife and yeah. you want to get in touch with your spirituality, That'd I know you were reading about Paul. Yeah, it'll fire Dude, you up. I have so much to talk about Paul. Let me hear about Paul. Dude, so this, this is it, it, pure Catholicism. This episode. That's all there is. Dude, everyone yeah. see my little Dude, fucking cold penis. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, that was uh, that was just yesterday, actually. Do you want to know what I was listening to? It's spooky. Yes, me? what the fuck got you? Never. Answered. I knew about this story, but then also I... that's pretty spooky. You withhold for that. You withheld for that long. What? You built the tension up. You oh, didn't, you were like, hmm. I, I asked you, and I saw you go, hmm. Should I reveal this? Hinter Kaifek, the farm. Ooh. What is that? <laughs> uh, I've definitely <laughs> talked about it before. Uh, it was a. It's a very unsolved old murder. <laughs> Are you watching on there? On this very well, TV? Well, I tried to, and every video on there sucks. So I just read the Wikipedia to my girlfriend at night. <gasps> what? I what said, time? do you want to know? Spoo- <laughs> literally the la- I literally finished telling the story and went. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner came to my, I had a friend's giving, okay? Mm-hmm. And I'll say this, and I, I don't know if this reaches Caitlyn, and if it does, God bless. But... <laughs> To say that Caitlyn is is a masculine person would be maybe the understatement of the year. Caitlyn walks in the house first of all. Wait, Caitlyn Jenner came to your. She comes with her girlfriend. Her girlfriend is a trans. Wait, see your Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah to my Thanksgiving. Friendsgiving. 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 I invited you to, but no one. No one's in LA. Everyone, I get yeah. it. Damn, you. She could have told me. Well, that's why I wanted you to come. Could have told me they were coming. Well, I would have been is there. Great. So she comes with her girlfriend. Her girlfriend is a trans MAGA influencer. Okay. So this is this is my dream. This is perfect for me. <laughs> this is all I want. The whole party, everyone else. Yeah. It wasn't about anything else. For sure. So she walks in, by the way, she walks in like 15 minutes after the supposed it starts. No one's there yet. There's like three weird people that I barely know. And then Caitlyn Jenner walks in. She walks in, she's like six four. Built like a brick shit house, <laughs> walks in. She's, you know, a specimen, right? Mm, yeah. She walks in, she shakes my hand. I go, You're really punctual. She goes, And I taught my kids how to be punctual too. They're all punctual. And it's like the most dad thing to say <laughs> yeah. ever. And then she like shakes my hand. I'm like, Yeah, yeah. So like, <laughs> we give her a drink and like, you just like, then like more people start to come. Maybe there's like 20 people there now. And then she's, just talking about how no one's patriotic anymore in America. Awesome. And how like So she's standing in the middle of my kitchen showing people pictures of her plane and going, nobody's patriotic anymore. You know, when I won those gold medals, she goes, people were cheering for me, but they were also cheering for America. Mm-hmm.